One day, my crazy mind decided to create PICT. PICT is a programming language that doesn't look like one. This is a standard programming language with a C-like syntax. And this is PICT. Yeah, there is no code. Actually, there is, but it is pixels. Pixels in an image are read from left to right and are translated into instructions the computer can understand. And the fun part is that it can be fully customized so that every image looks different from another. As if you could choose your own keywords, but with colors. Here is a basic Hello World program that uses the default bundled color scheme. You might be wondering how does that even work? So let me explain. The first red pixel tells PICT that a variable should be defined and identified as orange. Then comes the value. But first, let's briefly jump into theory. The standard set of characters your device uses to represent a string, such as A, B, C, comes from the ASCII table, which assigns a character to every integer number in a range from 0 to 255. That said, ABC is the union of the indexes 65, 66, and 67. Okay, but how do you represent characters with colors? Although they look like incompatible data, we shall see a color as an RGB representation. What happens if red, green, and blue have the same value? The color is now grayscale. And what's the range of supported RGB values? You guess it, exactly 255. This means that if you want to represent the character A, we should first look up its numeric value, which is 65, and set it as our pixels red, green and blue value. Now that the variable is initialized, the print statement is called identified by a magenta pixel, with our variable as an argument. Even if it looks confusing at first, it isn't hard to get started with this little thing. PICT is open source and is being continuously improved. You can check out its GitHub repository to keep updated with the latest features and feel free to contribute. I can't wait to see you write some code, or let's say, paint code.